President Obama brought his message of economic recovery, as we saw earlier, to America's so-called Rust Belt today, and not by accident. They're in need of jobs there in the worst way. One town hoping for good news is Greenville, Michigan, where they're now banking on green jobs. Our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson, has more. Think sun, and you probably don't think Michigan, especially in winter. But in snow-covered Greenville, United Solar Robotic is trying to change the game. They fuse film and wires the width of a human hair on stainless steel to create lightweight, flexible solar panel roofing. It's an ideal application for rooftops because in many cases, it can generate enough electricity for the facility that it's trying to power. 21st century technology manufactured by homegrown talent forced to reinvent itself. Two years ago, Greenville was abandoned by appliance maker Electrolux. It was very, very emotional. Plant controller Norris Thorland Rasmussen was one of 4,000 people who lost their jobs when Electrolux moved to Mexico. Greenville, a town of 8,000, with state help, convinced United Solar to build here. Now, what's your other one? Now oh, the community the college thing? teaches the old line employees okay. skills what for green kind of, technology. Today, there are 380 jobs with 500 more coming. They are responsible for all the operation of the machine, meaning they have to do the maintenance, they have to supply the materials, they have to troubleshoot it, they have to problem solve. And the world wants this made in the USA technology. 80% of the solar cells manufactured here in Michigan are exported, with the lion's share going to Europe. United Solar's product makes up the world's largest rooftop installation at a GM plant in Spain, powers a warehouse in Korea, and an airplane hangar in New Jersey. Demand Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm thinks can transform the Rust Belt into the Green Belt. We have spent so much time looking in the rearview mirror that what this allows our citizens to do is to look into the future and see tangibly, yeah, there is hope and dignity for me and my family. New industries providing a green roadmap to give workers and the planet a better, more secure future. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Greenville, Michigan. And when Nightly News continues in a moment, 